Hello, we are going to see how to digitize a manga page with a tablet or smartphone and Medibank Paint. The page we are going to use contains three parts. A raw sketch, an ink drawing with clean sketch and an ink drawing with blue pencil lines. Take a picture of your drawing with corners visible and make sure that your page lays flat to minimize distortion. Now let's open Medibang. Create a new canvas having the same size as your page. A4 in my case. Turn on the grid. Now load the picture you have taken into a new layer. Rotate and scale your page to fit as best as possible in the canvas. Skip line extractions as we will do it later on. Now we will correct the distortion of our page using the transform tool. Select the freeform transform and then zoom in your picture to better see the details. Select each corner and move them into the corner of the canvas. When done, zoom out to check that the panels are properly aligned with the grid. If everything is OK, then press done. Now let's extract the lines of our drawing. Duplicate the layer and hide the previous one. And now select the menu and press filter. Then select the line extraction tool at the bottom. Zoom in your picture to better see the detail and move the cursors to remove shadows. You will quickly be able to extract the lines from the clean sketch. But if we have a look at the panel with the remaining pencil stroke, we see that we have to push the filter further. Press down when you are happy with the line extraction. No need to protect the layer. Now you can use the eraser to remove any undesired details like the rulers or marks of corrector. Do not hesitate also to use a pen to make any needed corrections. Finally, we are going to correct the blacks, as you can see that they've been washed out by the filtering process. To do this, you just have to duplicate the layer with the extracted lines. And as you can see, it's quite effective. Then merge down this new layer to just keep one layer with lines.
and here is the result. The top panel can now be inked digitally and the bottom ones either printed as is or colored. Thank you for watching this video. Do not hesitate to visit my blog to find more articles about manga making. See you!